Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my emergency service series here. Um, we are back with the Los Santos Fire Department and uh, this time we are looking again at the Firefighter Mod by Stray in its iteration Release Candidate 2 which unfortunately for you guys is not available for the public yet. Um, I got a copy here to test it out and to show you guys what's going on. Um, and as you can see, we just got an automatic alarm, uh, vehicle fire first alarm, so we're gonna take this. And off we go. That's not a very far drive. But it is on a... Take one extinguisher, please. Yeah, that's what I figured. Can you please take the extinguisher before we all die? Alright. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, I guess we took a little bit too long there, I should have maybe. Wow, this is some serious fire. Okay, we're gonna switch gears. That seemed to have done the trick. Yeah guys, you're a little bit too late. Okay, why not? Make sure we don't get any hot spots. Man, I can't wait for us to have ELS control. And I don't know if you've seen maybe the video from Ranger Scope. Oh, I guess. I don't know if it's still Ranger Scope or just Ranger anymore. Oh, look, there's a piece of the. Oh, that's cute. There's a piece of the. Um, <laughs> of the. of the gas pump. So let's then get a tow truck here to get the sad, the sad wreck of a vehicle out of the area and it looks almost like this is a, this was a vapid cruiser. Now we're just waiting here for the tow truck to arrive and uh, once he's here we can call this uh, problem taken care of. Okay, well I guess the tow truck won't make it. So we're calling this one good.
You gotta say one thing, the inside of all those vehicles, be that in, in a fire engine or be that uh, any vehicle really, is really done amazingly. But... Oh. Before we go back, we're gonna go and uh, stop at the gas station. Because the tank is half empty. And that's not me being pessimistic, that is just a fact of life. Well, I guess the tank is half full, or as an engineer would say, the vessel is twice as big as we need it at the moment. So I don't know what's the deal with that. Uh, with a tank truck there. Uh, tank truck, yeah. With a tow truck there, but... Uh, we just fueled our truck up, so we are ready to go for the next call. Once that one happens. And uh, for those that said, uh, oh well, you should uh, go 10-8 as soon as... Uh, or ready for call out. Um, as soon as the fire is done. That is not correct. Uh, that depends on the fire department. For example, Drayton, we would never go back ready for the next call before we would have the engine back in the bay, had a once over on it and had all the hoses back where they belong the way they belong. So uh, yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there. Does this thing even fit in here? Oops, yeah it does. So what? Oh, oh! We get the next call. Residential structural fire. First alarm. Let's run. And this one we're gonna go in first person view because I know some of you guys really like first person view. Don't tell me it's the gas station. So as you can see here, we have a shop on fire. So we're going right in there and extinguishing the produce first. So back here after that last callout I unfortunately had a uh, driver crash after updating to the latest Nvidia drivers I experienced some problems with my graphics card so I had to roll back to the previous version but uh, regardless of that we are back here in the, in the um, firefighter modification as I said RC2 release candidate 2 here and uh, now as chief on the Sandy, uh, Sandy Shore station. So I will be back with you guys once we get the first call out. Well, second call out, I guess. If we don't count that uh, actual second one because we never finished that one. But and we got our first call here. Oh, yeah, first call as fired uh, chief anyway. And that is a motor vehicle accident. So we're gonna respond accordingly.
Alright, so we are on scene. Looks like it's a single vehicle accident, not multi. Out with you. What the okay, let's see if we can perform CPR on the poor soul. Doesn't look like it. So I guess all we have to left to do on this one is uh, call a tow truck. Oh no, actually, let's call a corner. That's right. I completely forgot about that fact. Now I'm just wondering. where the coroner is coming from and how that will look like if that's uh, um, no if that is actually a uh, coroner's vehicle of some kind or yeah it's gonna be interesting to see ah coroner is coming around the corner ha ha I just realized what I did there hey there so what are we gonna do with the poor guy? What? All right, so we got that taken care of. So all that's left to do at this point is uh, call us a tow truck, and we got this call done for. And the tow truck should be arriving here momentarily. Yep, there he is. Hey, bud. Take her with you. And we are good to go. Can call this one done. And I have no problem setting myself available with uh, um, Chief, because there is really nothing we used in this call, so it's discretionary. Okay, well, why don't... yeah. Stop signs don't bother you, apparently. So, and we just arrived here on scene for another MVA, as you can see. Same location. Okay. And it looks like a member of the armed forces. Well, maybe not. That's an old camo. Get out there. Let's try CPR. No CPR for this one. So we crest corner as well as uh, a tow truck. Actually, we need two tow trucks for this one.
But yeah, guys, you can see there's progress uh, made. The coroner is working now. Tow truck is working nicely. And you can actually clear those calls up. And uh, there's really a nice variety, or it's starting to become a nice variety of uh, calls in terms of in terms of fire and EMS related. So I think this is all the, the update that I wanted to give you on this one. And once we got this call here cleared up, then uh, we'll call this episode done. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, you will join me again when we are back with more of the emergency ser oh, of the emergency services in the wonderful state of San Andreas. So until then, I say thank you so much for watching, have a great day and God bless you.